Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. If you're wondering why I'm bouncing, it's because I'm on an exercise ball or birth ball is what I like to call it. It's amazing when you're pregnant. It's just a big ball that you can sit on and exercise and do all kinds of stuff with. Anyway, and so I am sitting on that right now in case you're like, why is she moving? Well, that's why. So anyway, I'm excited to do another pregnancy update with me, uh, with you guys. And I'm a little late in filming this, but that's okay. Life just kind of gets crazy. And so I'm only like a week late in what I usually do. So it's like five weeks of an update instead of a month update or whatever. So anyway, I'm excited to tell you guys what this, these last few weeks have been like. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, so as you can tell from the title below, I am in my third trimester. Yay! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Um, I'm at the last leg of my journey to meeting this baby, and I am super excited. Um, I cannot believe that the third trimester snuck up on me like that. Like, I don't know. With other kids, with my other kids, it seems like it went slower. With this kid, I just feel like it's gone by so fast. And that's good because really, I'm very impatient when it comes to babies and so um, it's really good that it's gone by pretty quickly for me. So right now I just am trying to prepare, prepare, prepare for baby and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, technically this is an update on weeks 26 and 27 also which are in my second trimester. Nothing really happened, nothing crazy to report on, I was pregnant, feeling fine having Braxton Hicks every once in a while, and just really wanting that third trimester to be here already. And um, so that's really all that happened there. But week 28 came and went pretty quickly. <laughs> um, but that's when I hit my third trimester. 28 weeks hits that big milestone of the last trimester of your pregnancy, which is awesome. And so um, 28 weeks, uh, everything was really going fairly good. Nothing crazy happened. Um, I was feeling pretty good. Like I said before, I've been having Braxton Hicks off and on, and that's fairly normal, especially for this part of the pregnancy. Um, and they've just gotten more intense. I will have to say for like week 28 and 29, they kind of took a slow downhill. Like they weren't as intense as they had been before. And I don't know why, maybe, I was doing something I should be, I don't know, um, but I didn't have as many Braxton Hicks. But of course, lo and behold, end of 20, week 29, beginning of week 30, they all started back up again, way more intense than usual. Um, and not bad intense, but Braxton Hicks can be a little intense, um, that's totally fine. So anyway, definitely been having those. Um, so yeah, week 29 came around and everything was, again, pretty fairly good. At the end of it, I started feeling more uncomfortable with my my body. Um, just not necessarily my self-image, but more my body's aches and pains and all that lovely stuff. And um, the Braxton Hicks were starting to come a lot more frequently, which they're not painful. They're just a tightening of your stomach. And um, which is just kind of an uncomfortable feeling if you've never felt them before. And I didn't have like hardly any with Judah. Um, I had some at the end. With Kyla, I had them just near the end, pretty much the entire third trimester. And with this baby, they have been going on since, I wanna say like the beginning of the second trimester and are hitting strong, uh, especially when I overdo it, which I do a lot. Um, but anyway, so yeah, 20 week, 29 weeks um, came and went and then I am in my week 30 right now. I am 30 weeks along, almost 31. I have nine and a half weeks to go, guys. Yes, I cannot wait. I am just so excited to finally meet this kid. And I wanna know what this baby is. Like, I'm getting to the point now where I'm like, okay, I wanna know what you are. Like, you know, are you a boy? Are you a girl? Are you a, we have two names picked out, which I'm not going to mention right now. And, um, so I'm, I, I'm like, I want to name you something. And um, so it's just different and it's good. I'm really glad that we're doing the whole gender surprise thing till the birth. Um, it makes me that much more excited about having this kid. So there's that. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm still feeling pretty good. Um, 
I have to say this week has hit me hard that I'm just done being pregnant. 30 weeks, I'm just, I'm realizing I just want to see this baby and I'm done being pregnant. I'm uncomfortable, I'm not sleeping as good as I used to um, just because it's uncomfortable. I'm having to pee all the time, sorry if that's TMI, but you know, it's pregnancy. And I've had the urge to oh, go to the bathroom so many different times. And at the night, at night, I don't know, I pee like four to five times or more depending. And I don't even drink that much water. So, you know, that baby's sitting right, right on my bladder, which is just lovely. Baby is head down still. Um, I had my last midwife appointment two weeks or a week ago and it went really good. Um, baby seems to be in the right position and um, so baby's heart rate is super great. Nothing, nothing's out of the unordinary and so that's awesome. I have <laughs> one thing that I've started to get which Again, this might be a little TMI, but it's called lightning crotch. Okay? Yeah, it, it's as bad as it sounds. Um, it's awful. Like, uh, I have had it with every one of my kids. And, yeah, just, it's all started right about the same time. It's terrible. Um, but it's like this awful pain that you get right down there. And it's just lovely. And it's that baby just twisting around its head in there. And it's great but it's just ugh, not fun. Uh, the other thing that this week has brought, um, I don't know, something about 30 weeks, guys, it just turned to a corner to like, oh, your pregnancy's going so well to let's just go down a rabbit hole and be like, this is no fun anymore. I'm done being pregnant. Um, but we, I had varicose veins. I think that's how you pronounce it, varicose veins. Um, I've never had them before, not, really anyway um I've had several friends who've had them but just like one that is kind of bugging me a bit and I've realized it's actually been been starting to build up over time and I just didn't realize what it was now I do and so it's like right below my belly so that's always fun um finding that out but they say with lots of like tea tree oil and walking that can help alleviate any pain um, thankfully it hasn't been super painful, it's just a small one, and so I'm hoping that that's just it. That's the only vein that does anything, <laughs> um, but I haven't gotten any anywhere super uncomfortable, so that's good too. So yeah, those are the ugh, parts of my pregnancy, um, <laughs> but anyway, it, it, all that to say you guys, I've really been having a good pregnancy, it's just once you hit the end of your pregnancy, things just get more intense, more, you get more tired, worn out, things like all those, you know, terrible pregnancies, symptoms that you had before kind of start to come back. And so that's always fun. And um, the, the cool thing is I've started to labor prep and I've been writing lists of things that I need to get done. And like, I've been preparing what I need, what I need to order for my birth kit. I've ordered two different birth kits with my kids and so I don't need a whole lot of stuff because um, I have a lot left over but like stuff that's been you know um, that has expired or that we need more of or whatever um, I'm starting to just make lists and order those and I have to order those around 34 weeks so that they're here by 36 weeks so um, 36 weeks is when my midwife wants everything here and I will talk more about labor prep and everything um, in another video but that's kind of what I've been doing lately is really just focusing on what I want for your labor birth and postpartum and really focusing on what um, what I really want and need and not go because um, like with other I I've learned something with every kid and I've wanted certain things with each kid that I didn't with the other and with this one, I just really want to be comfortable in the postpartum after having this baby. I want to be able to have everything I need so that my transition from being pregnant to having a baby and my body and everything goes relatively smoothly and that I can heal really well. And it's super important. Our country really does not... Um, prepare for postpartum correctly and we really don't heal and rest the way we should during our postpartum so anyway that's really all that went on um so lots lots of information i know but lots happened in those like five weeks i think it's five weeks 
26 to 30. Anyway, um, could be wrong. And so just lots going on. I'm doing a lot of squatting, a lot of taking um, raspberry leaf tea, um, evening primrose oil. I'm in, I'm taking that orally. And so um, a lot of things like that that I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start eating dates. And anyway, I'll talk about that later in another video. <laughs> but yeah, so lots happen. Lots is going well. But let's go ahead and show you the bump now. Uh, I'm literally like having a contraction right now like those little backs like you can talk through them they're just like hard hard belly oh my goodness guys so there's the bump um i feel huge <laughs> oh this baby is so like it's not i'm sure it's not a big baby but like i'm done i'm just i'm done and that's okay but i feel huge <laughs> oh, but it's okay um i'm very excited to finally almost be done and i think we're all ready for this baby to be born sort of i'm still need to prep for this birth Anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this update, and I just, I mean, with these updates, you guys seem to really enjoy them, and I'm really thankful that you enjoy them. Um, it's really nice to kind of just record my milestones in this pregnancy so that I can kind of come back and remember, like, what did happen with this pregnancy? So it's been a cool, trans a cool thing to do with this pregnancy because my other ones I haven't, and so, this will be fun to remember all those moments and all those things that went that happened in this pregnancy. So yeah, that's that's my update for you there. Third trimester is here, and I'm only actually doing a couple more of these, and then we'll be having a a reveal of the baby hopefully here soon, and well, a birth and all those things. Anyway, I only have a couple more of these updates, and then I'll be done with pregnancy updates, and we'll move on to baby updates, postpartum updates, you know, things like that. So anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one. See you later. Bye.